Okay, history for session one for grades three through five for ages eight through 10 or seven through 11 or 12. What do we cover? Well, we start, it's a, it's a survey course, okay? It's a survey course. So we're, we're not spending a lot of time on different things, but we are giving an overall view, which is a, which is a very good thing to do. Uh, particularly with uh, with children of this age, they get an understanding of where we are in history and what's happened in the past and so forth. We start with the Grand Council in Heaven, go through the creation, uh, the fall, Adam and Eve, Adam and Diamond, um, and down through history. We talk about Enoch and, and the city of Enoch and, and Zion and uh, what were the tenets of Zion? What were the things that they did and they believed and why was their society so good and so uh, able and worthy of being carried up into heaven. Okay, then we talk about also at a later date after the flood, uh, we talk about uh, the uh, institutes of Nimrod. Nimrod was not a very good individual and uh, he, much of the philosophy today in the world comes from the, the Institutes of Nimrod, which is very interesting. And so we look at this a dichotomy, uh, where is our society as far as the tenets of Zion are concerned, where is our society as far as the Institutes of Nimrod are concerned, and, and where are we on that continuum. Um, also, we, um, we bring in a lot of uh, different in, in things into it. We have a lot of courses that we have written and we are bringing in the highlights from those courses. This is the one in the beginning. There's another course in here, if I can find it really quickly. Um, we talk about the timeline. And this is just an abbreviated timeline. It's a, it's a timeline that highlights the Lord's program throughout history. It's not a timeline of who ruled here and who ruled there. It, it has to do with the Lord's program through history. Uh, we do suggest and, and hope that you're, you will purchase this book for your child. It's a Dorton Kinsley book, A Child Through Time, the book of children's history. And in it, it details how children lived at various uh, times. And it also uh, highlights some of the more important uh, events in history. For example, the Reformation. There will be one uh, page on the Crusades and so forth. And, and how did uh, how, how did the kids live? Well, you know, here, school through time. What was school like? Uh, so it's it's very uh, very interesting and and uh, worthwhile um, to read. Uh, for example, here, Edward the Sixth, okay, the boy king of England. Uh, Simona talks about gives these these children through time names and what it would have been like for them to live and what their uh, accommodations were like, what their clothing was like, what, you know, just what their lives would have been like through history. It's kind of interesting to, to add that into this class because uh, the kids can get kind of an idea of what their ancestors went through during uh, different periods of time. Um, as I said, we use all sorts of sources. Um, this is one of my favorite because it gives a good history without any uh, dogma attached to it, any particular philosophy. And it's, it's very good. If you can get a copy of that, fine, but you don't need it. You don't need it. In fact, we, uh, we don't really, I use it uh, as a resource, but um, you don't need to get it. I'm just showing you what, a, what one of the things is that I use. Okay, um, history should be exciting. It should be about people. It should be about where we are in the Lord's timeline for this earth and uh, what our responsibilities are to the world and to each other and uh, what our Heavenly Father expects of us. You know, uh, we talk about different philosophies and uh, what is the correct view of history. We talk about the cycle of history. We talk uh, about the questions to ask about history, the, the very telling questions. Uh, so we root them into uh, being able to understand history and analyze history as well as facts and so forth. They can, they can go through a lot of facts later, but we want them to get a good feeling for how to look at history. Thank you.